Solar hot water timers have been spruiked by solar salesmen, especially up here in Brisbane for some reason, so that you can heat your excess hot water with free solar power. Now they're fairly cheap to install, let's say 300 bucks or so, and they make you think that you're saving heaps of money. But today I'm gonna to tell you why solar hot water timers and solar hot water diverters are usually a really dumb solution. And I'll show you another solution that meets my three requirements of being accurate, reliable, and affordable. So the main reason I don't like solar hot water timers is they fail the first test. In many cases, they're just not accurate enough. I mean, let's say it's raining in the morning, but sunny in the afternoon. A timer will force your hot water to heat up with grid power in the morning before the sun comes out. Or let's say you're cooking up a Sunday roast and your aircon is pumping. The hot water will turn on anyway and you'll be paying for that extra power to heat your hot water. Now, don't get me wrong. In some situations, a hot water timer was the best solution available to us. But in many cases, customers would have saved more money if they simply stayed on an off-peak hot water tariff. If a timer doesn't even pass the first test, then I don't think we need to talk about whether it is affordable and reliable. So let's just move on to the next solution, hot water diverters. So instead of being a big on and off switch like a timer, a hot water diverter works like a big dimmer switch. Let's say it's 8 a.m. in the morning and you have only 200 watts of excess solar power. Instead of sending that 200 watts back to the grid, the diverter will turn on, but it will dim the power that it sends to your hot water to just that 200 watts. If you get a good quality hot water diverter, like the Fronius Home Pilot, it will be really reliable and it'll be really accurate. And it's likely that you'll heat almost 100% of your hot water with excess solar. So a quality hot water diverter will meet two out of my three requirements, super reliable and super accurate. In fact, I use the Fronius Own Pilot hot water diverter at my house, but for you, it's around about $2,000 installed. And unless you're using bucket loads of hot water, hot water diverters usually fail the affordability test. So for a long time, we've been stuck with either an inaccurate and unreliable solution that's cheap, or a really awesome solution that is really expensive. There have been other solutions on the market, but I think none of them meet the conditions of reliability, affordability, and accuracy at the same time. So here's what I think is the best solution for most homeowners. It's called the Catch Power Relay. Okay, let's first cover accuracy. Now this device is similar to a timer in the sense that it is designed to turn your hot water on when you have excess power. But instead of just assuming that you'll always have excess power at lunchtime, the catch relay will measure how much power you are sending back to the grid and it'll only turn on when you have enough solar power for the hot water element. If it's raining in the morning or if you're using your oven to cook up a Sunday roast, then you probably won't have enough excess solar power and your hot water won't turn on. So does that mean you'll run out of hot water on a rainy day? Well, no, we can set the catch relay to have a minimum runtime of, let's say, three hours by five o'clock in the afternoon. There are a whole bunch of other things that the catch relay does that I'll explain towards the end of this video. But first, let's just tick the box that says, yes, the catch power is accurate. It'll generally only hit your water when you have enough excess solar power. But is a catch relay reliable and is it affordable? Well, this is what I like about the catch relay. Now stick with me on this one. On most solar installs, we install a consumption monitor or with our Fronius installs, a Fronius smart meter. A consumption monitor allows you to know how much excess solar power you're sending back to the grid and how much you're drawing from the grid. Now, here's the cool part. The catch power relay takes the place of most consumption monitors on the market. So let's say you've got a Fronius inverter. The catch power relay will communicate with the Fronius inverter and display the consumption monitoring on the Fronius monitoring platform. The catch relay costs around about a hundred bucks more than this smart meter. But the catch is smarter than the smart meter. We should probably call it the catch genius meter. So now that the catch knows how much power you're sending back to the grid, it can be programmed to switch on your hot water at the right time. Now, all we need to do is add that automatic switch and here it is. It's a simple off the shelf contactor and it costs about a hundred bucks. And if you choose the right contactor, they're a super simple and super
reliable device that has been used by electricians for eons. So we have increased the price in total by about a couple of hundred dollars. So I would call that an affordable solution. And because we have only really added one simple component, we've kept the reliability of your entire system, to be honest, in my opinion, to be about the same. But this is what really makes the catch relay stand apart from any other solution. It's the app interface. Now let's say your hot water requirements change or maybe you replace your hot water system. Now all of the parameters can easily be changed by the user on that app interface. But if you're not sure what you're doing, you can always allow us to log in remotely and we can do that for you. Now this ability for us to log in and fault find and adjust your hot water settings will greatly increase the reliability and the accuracy of your hot water relay. Now, okay, here's another example. Let's say it's a rainy Christmas day and everyone is around your place, people are in and out of the shower and you run out of hot water. No problem, just jump into the Catch Power app interface and force it to run. Or yet another example, let's say your hot water system fails and you're not sure if it, if it is your Catch Power relay or it is the thermostat in your hot water system or your element. Now call us up and we can log into Catch Power and with a fair degree of accuracy, we can diagnose what has actually failed. You know, in some ways this all sounds pretty simple and you would have thought that someone would have come up with this before. And in fact, the Frangius inverter can be used to program a basic hot water relay. We used to do it all the time. But Fronius just didn't optimize their relay function. They don't have a minimum runtime and they don't have a nice simple user interface that allows us to adjust parameters. And they don't allow remote access to adjust those parameters. So Catch Power has done all of this. And they're a great Aussie company who have proved themselves in the Australian market. If you want to know more about Catch Power, check out this video where I discuss Catch Power with one of the owners and founders, Scott Young.